So, uh, hello everyone, welcome to lecture 5 of this uh, FTP program. Uh, now, being a great teacher demands a lot of things. Uh, usually, you want to communicate with your students in the best way possible. And now that uh, we have got this uh, restrictions of teaching from home, you basically need to upload uh, videos. Now, all of your, all of us are not really comfortable uh, with laptops and basically recording a lecture on screen. So what we prefer sometimes is recording it on uh, uh, probably a marker board and then basically uploading the lecture. That's the best way, definitely that's the closest one can come to a real life uh, classroom session. But then uh, the difficulty rise sometimes uh, on using a camera. So if you can use a mobile phone and directly record it and upload it from your mobile, that's fine, you can do that. But in case you can record it on a PC and then you can actually do some editing to make it great and interactive and then you upload it, uh, the students are getting uh, attracted, right? It, it, it creates a lot of interest, it generates a lot of interest. So what you can do is, uh, if you want to use your laptop, uh, you basically have a webcam there, but then it becomes difficult to use a webcam of your laptop because usually they are not of good quality so what you can do is you can purchase an additional uh, webcam will be cost you around uh, 2000 bucks so that's already uh, like a good bet because uh, it's not that costly and the quality is good but in case you don't want to do that you already have your mobile phone and that your mobile phone can work great as a webcam so for that this is today's lecture where we are going to talk about using your mobile phone as a webcam for recording lectures so if you're recording an on-screen lecture and you want to put your uh, picture or your moving uh, image into it when you're talking, okay, you can do that by using a mobile webcam. Okay. So for this, you basically go, uh, going to use a software. Okay. You're basically going to use a software, and that uh, software is uh, basically what we call as the Droid Cam. So this is my mobile screen which I have mirrored uh, uh, here. And then you can see this particular software, which is basically called the uh, Droid Cam. Okay. So how do you install it? You can basically go to Google Store. Okay. And then once you go to Google Store, you can type here. You can type uh, Droid Cam here. Okay. Mm, I have already typed it once. And then you can see this is our app. I have already installed it, so this says open. Else it will be giving you an install option. And then you can just simply open this. Okay. So once you open this, uh, you get something like this. Where there is a Wi-Fi IP address given and a Droid Cam port given. Now you can use this uh, Droid Cam in a number of ways. Okay, you can actually use a USB and connect it. But this is the, uh, the uh, software which is installed Android app on your Android app. But at the same time, you also need to install the same on your uh, laptop. And then what you can do is you can basically go to uh, Google and then just type uh, Droid Cam. So once you type uh, Droid Cam there, okay you'll be actually getting the software which you can download. So if you go here and then you can actually see this is your Windows, this is your Android app and this is your Windows app. So that's the client app that you need which it needs to be installed in your laptop or your desktop, okay? So you can just directly download the Droid Cam client app for your Windows and do the installation, okay? It's a very simple process, just the normal exe file and you can do the installation. Now, once you install this uh, software, okay, you basically have the app here, and then this is something which you see. So, once you open this uh, Droid Cam, you see this uh, address should be the same as the address which is there in my mobile. So, in my mobile, it's talking about the uh, 100, right, and it's not 101. So, what I do is I change this to 100, okay, and then uh, once I press start you can actually see the image so you can see uh, my laptop screen okay there i think it's uh, clear okay it's quite a, a lot of light in the background and you can like, see my table not very tidy but anyway so this is exactly how you use it as a webcam okay now one more thing i'd like to tell you is that if you suppose don't have a now the important part here is that uh, both your uh, mobile and your laptop needs to be at the same Wi-Fi network using the same Wi-Fi network then only you can connect it uh, wirelessly okay now suppose you have a desktop okay and you don't use a wireless connection you basically can just use a uh, if you should use a desktop you might not have a wireless connection you basically will be using only a 
uh, LAN cable. So what you can do is uh, when you are using a mobile connection and using only a LAN cable, you can simply go to uh, the app, okay, the DroidCam app. And uh, if you open the DroidCam app, uh, you have this option of uh, this was over Wi-Fi, and this is the option of connecting over USB. So what you can do is you can connect your mobile with your laptop or your desktop and the USB can be connected and then this will show up and then you can select it and do the start. So as soon as you start, it basically uh, shows your uh, mobile screen on screen. Uh, one more thing, in your Droid Cam, you can actually record only the video or only the audio. But anyway, I'm not interested in the audio right now, I'm just interested in video. The question to this, uh, the answer to this is why? Because if I'm using any kind of recording software, for example, uh, let me just uh, give a very simple example here. What you do is, uh, you you basically go for this. Okay, let me just restart this, and then uh, I'll just go for start. Okay, and once I start, I have the image. Okay, since my mobile is tinted, so let me just uh, move this. Okay, so I can see this image. Okay. So what I can do now is I can minimize this and use an on-screen recording software. So this is Flashback Pro, which I'm going to teach you in the next class. But then I'm just going to show you how to use DroidCam here. So basically, you can just open this Flashback Pro. As soon as you open this uh, software Flashback Pro, uh, there is an option where you can use a camera in order to uh, record uh, along with the screen. Okay, so. Uh, once you start with that, uh, you can actually select uh, Droid Cam as the option. Okay, so uh, my system is a bit slow. So anyway, I'm just opening this. Okay, so once I open this, uh, it should open right now. Okay. So once I open this, you can see that there is an option here which is basically says about the webcam. Okay. So if I click webcam, what is going to happen is is going to show this webcam okay you can see on my screen now this is my laptop webcam okay this is something which i'm not using but i'm using a droid cam so i want to just shift to droid cam and you can see that i can use the droid cam okay now you can select the orientation sometimes the orientation is different from the default app so i can rotate my mobile and then basically i can see it on screen now this is something which can be recorded uh, on your uh, uh, monitor okay this can be done and why I did not select the sound because if you use the flashback uh, it can actually select uh, the default recording tool and that is your microphone okay so I hope this helps again okay? and uh, uh, you can always use this uh, software for uh, using it uh, with your uh, laptop uh, using a Wi-Fi connection or just a LAN cable to enhance your uh, video lectures. thank you